Hello, all my subscribers. This is Quinitra, friend of God. And um, I have a testimony. Um, a couple of testimonies, actually. Um, one I want to start with uh, when I used to work at Jack in the Box. I was really upset with God. I really wanted to transfer and move. And the reason why I was upset with God is because when you look for your prayers to work and they don't work and God comes in a different avenue and he's trying to show himself strong and he's just trying to communicate with you but also he's letting you know that he's in control right I'm a dreamer I have a lot of dreams and I like to share my dreams with you. I like to share my dreams with you guys so that you can understand your dreams and I can tell you how they manifest from the dream world to the natural so you can kind of see how they're a little bit different when they manifest some things manifest accurately and you can put together the pieces of the puzzle from your dream world to the natural and see how God speaks because God's ways is not our ways and his thoughts is higher than ours amen thank you God glory to the father um so I was working at Jack in the Box and my original request to God was I wanted to move from the Jack in the Box I was I was upset that they put me at a worse Jack in the Box uh, definitely much worse there because I transferred from one to another because I had a really mean boss and so I moved on to another Jack in the Box but at that particular Jack in the Box they were doing drugs and drinking um, which is fine you know what I mean like there's nothing wrong with anything when it comes to like I don't have any judgment right there's no judgment meaning I just asked like the CEO and everybody to move me to a one and so for them to judge me like that to be like we're gonna stick her over here I'm like okay that's fine meaning I can't judge can you move me to another one and plus I had another jack-in-the-box down the street from my house so I was just like well let me transfer to the one down the street from my house okay long story short I said all of that to say this so one day I was on my way I drive back and up from the strip from where I live on North Amar, but there is another Jack in the Box right down the street from my house. So I'm driving down the street. You know, I go down the street a million times, a million times, a million times. Going down the street, and one day I look over to my left. You know, God just so happened to allow me to look over. Do you know that somebody, it looked like the kitchen caught on fire, there was policemen, uh, what is that, not ambulance, but fire trucks, you know, the holes being sprayed over the roof, it, it, it was a scene and a dramatization on the outside of Jack in the Box. So God, you know, is faithful and um, when he moves, he moves the way that he wants to and we have to move with him i remember saying that when god left me at goes gym when god was like it's time to go and i was like no and then his spirit started moving and then people started getting a little bit more disrespectful with me treating me a certain way so when you when a job is going good that means god is grace is there in his spirit when if you step right into a job from the get-go and it's bad that means his spirit did not go with you on that job that means that he did not agree so when God showed me that, that gave me the revelation. And do you guys kind of follow and see what I'm saying by God speaks to you through your life and your situations? And that's how God is. He wants you to kind of sit back, ease up, let the collar up, so to speak. And he wants to speak to you so lovingly, so patient, so kicked back, being daddy God and being as high and mighty as he is. But he's, you know sits high and he looks low and he's sensitive and loving and gentle and he's so humorous and um which brings me to the next testimony so i'm like thank you father god knowing that you wanted to remove me out of the whole jack-in-the-box system and put me at aaron's furniture where i'm at now so i want to thank god and i want i want to even thank god for the lockdown that's so many blessings to get to know the woman and god that i talked to um i've developed such a loving friendship in the in the love of christ outside of uh you know youtube um i have a group chat and i have a prayer line you know and we're just getting together for the fellowship of god and you know in this end time and all the things that are going on um like i said which brings me to my next testimony so we were all on group chat last night and when we get on prayer line we pray for three hours and um <clears throat> when we're praying and talking about god it seems like we use an hour to pray an hour to talk about uh, the Lord and then we like have an hour for testimony so we're on there for hours and like I said you know anyone who wants to um, pray you know feel free to um, talk to me and um, 
you know, reach out on message on here and, you know, let me know. I, I do go back and read my messages. Sometimes I get to you guys four, eight, nine hours later or a day later because I'm busy and things have become more busy with the prayer line and the group chat. Um, and my, you know, endeavors are to go higher and higher, be more professional because, you know, I, you know, most definitely want to eventually, you know, way, way down the road, you know, run the group chat, have a website and oversee some things. Father God is just like, you did not tell them. <laughs> okay, sorry, daddy. Um, so we were talking about God, talking about Jonah and God was just like, you know, we were talking about something and someone, I think someone had a question and we were just talking randomly and somebody was just like, you know, asked a question and I was like, yeah, so, you know, so like Jonah and God was like, speak about Jonah. So we weren't in the word, but we were talking about Jonah. So after we had the conversation about just speaking about Jonah, um, I was like, well, why don't we just end the night with, you know, reading the scripture, talking about the scripture and just going from there. So I was like, OK, let me just open up the Bible. So I opened up the Bible and took like a chunk. You ever just take a chunk of pages, and just throw it. So when I opened the Bible, took a chunk of pages, could have been like 100 or 80 and just you know, flopped it and uh, looked down and it landed in the book of Jonah, like at the beginning of the first page that says the book of Jonah. And I was just like, God, you are so humorous. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing all of us to be on one accord. And I just love you so much. And that's just been testimonies, um, testimonies upon testimonies of, you know, just God and, and, and him loving on us and just the unification. And I've been listening to God. God has been speaking to me. He's just like, Quinitra, I need you to pray more. And, you know, how many of you want to be obedient? How many of you are looking to start somewhere? How many of you are trying to open and gather your prayer life to be better and stronger? You know, there's a lot of people on the outskirts that's pity patting and playing with their relationship. But how many of you are coming into the word of God and coming into relationship with God and being on fire for God? You're coming to God from all angles and from all places around the world, from all kind of uh, messed up positions. And you're just coming and you're giving God and coming to him that the way that you are. And you're just saying, Lord God, I need you to change me. I'm, I'm messed up. I'm jacked up from the flow up. And I feel like I'm messed up, jacked up from the flow up. And guess what? We're just going to continue to ride on into the sunset with the Holy Spirit. We just may ride on off into a chariot somewhere and ride on into heaven. Lord, we just decree and declare Enoch in the name of Jesus Christ, straight into heaven. And I just want to thank God. I want to thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing, Lord God. Bless all of my subscribers, Lord God. Bless every single last one of them in their home, Lord God, who may have tensions and mishaps or just different things going on, Lord God, that need help with. Don't leave them the way that they are. Don't leave them destitute, Lord God. Clear up their mind, Lord God. There's so many attacks in the mind and how the devil comes against our old way of thinking because, Lord God, we don't have deliverance yet, Lord God. We need you. We need you in our hearts. Lord God, blow your breath of life until the Holy Spirit is sucked on the inside of us, deep down inside, causing deliverance, causing spiritual surgery, Lord God, causing us to think different, causing us to have the spirit of conviction. Hallelujah. Lord God, thank you, Lord God, for every single last person who's been a blessing to me and who I've been a blessing to, Lord God. Touch this YouTube channel, Lord God. I haven't had one person that just actually come up to me in a way for my YouTube channel and just like, hey, I heard about your channel and I just think that it's just a blessing. And I'm just talking about people that I know, not people that are coming through YouTube, but just people family and you know it kind of hurts a little bit but you know what you know, I just want people to be happy for me. Happy that, you know, I'm doing the will of God and just all those things. So, Father God, just bless everybody, Lord God. People that I do and don't know. Lord God, cause the people to continue to come in. Uh, I had a uh, uh, Christine, if you don't mind me saying your name, a uh, woman of God, just prayed that um, the prayer line that God had allowed me to start it. I'm just going by the spirit of what God is saying. You know, you don't have to be a minister or a pastor to start a prayer line. You just want to come together for the unification and salvation and deliverance and the closeness of God. Wanting to be holy and pure it won't change. Hallelujah. She had a dream that um, the prayer line just got real, real, you know, big and it just expanded and it reached all across the world. And we just want to thank God because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And uh, I just want to, I do want to say to some people that I get to know personally, you know, if you guys want to get to know me on a personal level, that is fine. You know, things are growing and things are going. I want to make sure that no one gets left out. So um, definitely don't count yourself out. Um, God is with you. God is with us all. And just continue to pray for me out there. People who are subscribed to me, uh, continue and, and remember to lift my name up because anytime something sometimes anytime God is doing a great move in the earth through a person the enemy tries to come and attack and we just want to dedicate Satan uh, to God and the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and we, we just want to thank God for everything that's going on and what he's doing and what he's about to do and we just want to thank God for uh, rebuking witchcraft and hells and uh, hexes and uh, spells and hoodoo and voodoo Lord God we want to thank you Lord God for 
all those things been bound up to the pits of hell. They've been not a darkness on which they came never to return. In my name of our Lord God and Savior Christ Jesus, Lord God, cover us with the Spirit and Holy Ghost fire. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. Loose our tongues, Lord God, what is bound up. Loose our minds from depression, Lord God. And loose our bodies and our families, Lord God. Save and unsaved. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. Bless us to change right in the midst of our enemies, Lord God. Our cup runneth over. You set a table and prepare right before our enemies, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that everything that we pray uh, concerning for us to get better will not fall to the ground. Hallelujah, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. I thank you for and bless every person who has blessed me. Bless them, Lord God, tr tremendous a hundredfold for all the people who have blessed my life, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you're doing and what you're about to do, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for everything you're doing for your kingdom. It is all for your glory. Get the glory for my YouTube channel. Get the glory, Lord God, for my group chat. Get the glory, Lord God, for my prayer, my prayer line, Lord God. Get the glory for my soul and use this vessel that you're using. I'm a willing vessel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And touch everybody, Lord God, that's listening, Lord God. Even if they're not subscribed, they're just stopping by. And the ones who will press the button to subscribe. Uh, I really don't don't say this but like share and subscribe because you know it, it and, you know i the bible says to let other people praise you so i've heard people say you know my videos don't really get all that much credit so if you know anybody you know take click share and subscribe and you know cause other people to take and share and clip because what we're doing is we're having a move of god we're praying we need god we, we want to be those end time people uh, that are being obedient and uh, God had gave me a sign so I, I had a dream a long time ago that the angel of the Lord said Quinita, the spirit, spirit of the Lord says uh, to you that the 66 is already here and it's here to stay and so in that dream that God had me to write down about oh my gosh 11 years ago um, in the dream my daughter was five God gave me a marker uh, March 27 2015 uh, is, it, is it year 2015 no 2020 <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, March 27th, year 2020, my uh, four-year-old just turned five years old. And so God gave me the marker. And isn't that something? The coronavirus and different things that spread out. So God is saying that we have rolled and start rolling into the end time. And that is something that's kind of substan substantial heavy because... I never knew when God was saying do this. A lot of people thought this was the end time or this or that, but God is saying, you know, my, my daughter is five and, you know, we're rolling into the events of the end time. So we just want to be prepared and thank God and be, and be prepared for, you know, what he's going to do in the future and what we need to be protected from and just all of those things. So um, the testimonies are going good. They're going great. Just remember that in your walk with God, take it serious. If you have not begun to take God serious, please take God serious. You know, if you have not begun to have strength within yourself, if somebody's wanting to have sex, with you and you're not for uh you're not married and you're fornicating you know if you are before god's presence and you're looking at pornography and you're masturbating i know guys i know and i just want to say this nobody said that serving god was easy and he never promised that to you god never promised that to me and that's why i had such a hard problem and i'm gonna tell you something people are gonna point the finger they're gonna be like cute how can you say something even if god sent you you've been through it you know how hard it is i'm telling you you right you sure right and guess what God worked on it, and I and we pray for subscribers. We pray for you guys every day. Just know that we are praying for you. You know, the mission here is loving souls to liberty. We are praying for all YouTubers. Your names are going up every day. I have a mandate. I think about you guys when I'm not here, and I'm back here praying for you all. Even though I don't know everybody's name, I'm not going in, in the chat going, hey, I need you to have a prayer request. We hit every area for you guys and we pray for you guys and so this is not a uh a play time and play game i love to pray and god rebuked me for not praying enough so god is dealing with quinitra and i'm just like yes lord yes god i love you very dearly i know i gave you promise in the past but i'm done with all of that i'm ready to go i'm on fire for you and i'm ready it's time it's time it's time when is the time the time is today the time is today the time is today. So, you know, we're asking for God's strength and we're moving and doing everything that God has called us to do. And if you are a person, if you are that kind of one who has a hard heart, a hard heart, giving people problems, saying things and being negative and trying to split and have a spirit of divination. What is a spirit of divination? You may love a part of the family or a part of someone's family or part of someone's friends, but you treat that person real wrong and you may gossip or do things uh, to that other person. There's a lot of people who smile at people's face and talk behind that back, but you got a lot of people who will go you ever seen like somebody who would treat your kids a certain way, but they treat you horribly? And you know what I'm saying? I am not being passive. I know a lot of people like that. And I know that you guys do too. And um, there's going to be a lot of times you're going to pray for people who need the spirit and touch of God. They don't even know how to pray for themselves and say, Lord God, bless me. 
to stop being mean and rude to people and take away this heart and give me a heart of flesh. You got some people who are ashamed, who've been in it for so many years, and it, you know, and misery loves company. I want to tell you something. God is not happy with those kind of things. God is not for those kind of things, and I want to say that. And I work on myself daily, and there's a lot of people who know that Cornetra is imperfect, but I tell you one thing that I don't profess to do. I don't profess to call myself all perfect, a woman of God who's not going through things. You guys know that I'm so open. So when it comes to your relationship with God, it's better to confess than to sit there and let that stuff fester under the rug to, to create a bacteria and a fungus and for it to spread and go like wildfire to other people. I'm telling you, this is a time to be honest, to repent, to repent, to repent, talk to God, tell him what you're going through and all the things that's happening because don't we all have things, you know, just like people talk about hair and nails and, and makeup. I'm telling you, we all got something that we need to work on, work towards doing, but let not what you're going through, just let it not hurt and affect other people. If you are a, a woman or a woman of God and you got your cleavage out with a see-through shirt, that's hurting and affecting other people, especially men and women of God who are attracted, women who are attracted to women that will hurt someone to give them sexual uh, visual eye, a 